Hi everybody, this is Bob and a gang from Edward Siegel Grommet Machines. Uh, my name is Bob Miller. I am your factory authorized sales rep for the entire product line of Edward Siegel Automatic Setting Machines. I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina. That's East Coast time, guys. Today I'm going to be doing a product demonstration on our model 3P6 Portable Grommet Press. This is considered an automatic setting machine, bench mount, and this is our, our entry level unit. And with it being at uh, our entry level unit, this is considered a manual feed, which requires the operator to have to uh, hand insert the grommet and washer on every setting cycle. Uh, this is a bench mount unit. Um, and today, by the way, this, this is a uh, number three grommet washer set here. And that's the number three grommet washer set of tool dyeing that I have in the machine. By the way, these are sheet metal grommets and washers, which represents uh, basically 90 plus percent of the grommet and washers used in automatic setting machines. Probably more than 90%. But uh, I bet you guys think I'm going to be doing my demonstration today on setting grommets and washers in banners. And I am not. I'm going to be setting them in hanging signs. I've been in the sign and graphics business for 25 years, and I'm an outdoor event specialist, and I'm known for decorating <coughs> outdoor street festivals, kids' combines, sporting events, uh, and food and beverage uh, festivals. And because of that, I have my own product line of two primary core products that I take to street festivals. One of those core primary core, core products are hanging signs. I make my hanging signs out of four millimeter coroplast. You know, it's good old reliable coroplast or polypropylene, whatever you want to call it. Um, and when I go to these street festivals, I have an assortment of different size uh, coroplast signs. I refer to these signs as tent headers. So I'm going to go over some of these briefly for you. This is a 10 inch by 10 inch number sign. Uh, sometimes we refer to them as a booth or an exhibitor sign. Uh, another product that I take to street festivals is a a half foot by one foot uh, hanging sign. And then one of my core products that I take to all street festivals are what I call a tent header. This particular tent header is a one foot by four foot coroplast sign. Um, and this is for a uh, beer festival this weekend. I am on deadline. This job is due. So, uh, so I'm going to be demonstrating this on live work. Um, and to give you an idea, at this beer festival, I am taking 86 of these 10 headers with me. So it's a good size sign job. Uh, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to go over a couple of different applications that I'm going to use with this machine. This is a booth sign or an exhibitor sign. It's a pretty entry level, low end sign. It doesn't require any color printing. And it does require a hanging hole on the top here. And it does not require that I set this with grom and a washer. So what I'm going to do is use the uh, 3P6 to punch my grommets into this. I'm going to do a quick demonstration of me just knocking holes in the coroplast signs for you. So, let's get to it. Here's my sign. Here's my printed dot. I come up to my grommet press. I line it up on my feed table and where my printed dot is. I bring down the safety shield, which actuates the triple lever on the device, and I punch my hole. I'll do a couple of these for you real quick so you see what the rhythm and the timing is like. See how quick I did this. I just knocked out five of these. All right, now I'm going to switch to my 10 headers. This is one of these core products of mine here, one foot by four foot. Now I'm going to be setting grom and a washer. So I'm going to grab my grom and a washer and I'm going to manually feed this in here. Line that up in position and knock in my grom and washer. Well, first thing I'm going to do is check for quality here, see how my grom and washers are setting. And I'm looking for a nice defined grommet set, a nice defined washer set. And you can see there's no free spin on this here. This grommet and washer is set. The other thing I'm looking for is the, the towing in or the crushing of flutes. And as you can see here, I got a really nice set here. I'm not deforming the shape on this core glass. So these are some of the quality things I'm looking for. Let's knock in a few more of these for you. So that's one hanging sign right there. Let's grab another one. And that's it. Let's check this for quality. 
Like I said, you can see that there. Nice setting of grommets and washers. And then I'm going to switch to some of my smaller signs here. I've got one no smoking, one fire, one exit. Are these I typically take to all festivals with me. I'm going to knock these in real quick. Let me get a grommet washer. See, setting them nice and easy. Pretty easy going. And you can see I'm not working hard setting these. I'm letting the machine do the work. Do one more for you. by the camera let's take a look at these check for quality so you got a nice setting of grommet nice setting of washer I'm gonna check to make sure that I've got a nice they're not free spinning at all nice bite on this looking to see that I'm not crowing towing or crushing in the profile of the coroplast and that is it this is my presentation on the Edward Siegel model 3p6 automatic setting machine that is considered a uh, entry-level machine it requires the operator to have to handset the grommet and washer manually uh, thanks for watching the video. My name is Bob Miller. I'm your factory authorized sales rep for the entire product line of Edward Siegel automatic setting machines. I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina, guys. It's East Coast time. My phone number is area code 704-335-4036. Thanks for watching the video and sit tight because there's going to be a ton more videos coming out on the entire product line of Siegel setting machines. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Bye-bye.